Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to My Gadget Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make pressure cooker chili, and then we'll be using that chili to make some yummy chili cheese dogs, and I'm gonna do this in my Ninja Foodie. All right, foodies, so I upgraded my camera. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to bring you guys some better quality videos. I'm still working on placement and some settings, but let me know what you're thinking so far. So for the recipe, we're gonna start off by dicing some veggies. I've got an onion, a bell pepper, and some garlic cloves. I'm gonna need you to pretend like you see a couple jalapenos because I'm supposed to have jalapenos, but I totally forgot to grab them. You know, stores are crazy these days, so it just I just totally spaced it. So get some jalapenos, okay? So while I was dicing the veggies, I preheated my foodie on the saute high setting, and I am browning a couple pounds of ground beef. Once the ground beef was browned, I added in the onions and the bell peppers, and I let that cook for a few minutes. Finally, I added in the diced garlic. Now remember, you gotta pretend there's jalapenos in there. So now I'm adding in two packets of chili seasoning mix, followed by a can of black beans and two cans of kidney beans. Those were both drained and rinsed, and then two cans of chili beans. Now let's mix all that together and it's already looking delicious, but we still gotta season it up some more. So I've got some chili powder. You don't need too much because we added the um, chili mix. And now we're gonna add in some granulated onion and some granulated garlic followed by some slap yo mama. Now, it is time to add in our liquid. I've got two cups of Better Than Bouillon chili base. If you don't have this, just use two cups of beef broth. Stir that together, and then I'm adding in one can of Rotel, followed by two cans of stewed tomatoes, and I'm just gonna let those sit on top. I added in a couple bay leaves, placed on the pressure lid, set it to seal, and we are gonna cook this chili on high pressure for 20 minutes, followed by a quick release. Here's what your chili will look like once it's done cooking. Go ahead and give it a stir and remember to remove those bay leaves. Now at this point, you can go ahead and serve it up and top it with some sour cream, some cheese, maybe add some cornbread or some crackers. But like I said in the beginning, I turned this into chili cheese dogs. So in my Ninja Foodie Grill, I cooked up some hot dogs. And then once the hot dogs were done, I tossed in some frozen tater tots. And let me tell you, my kids were in heaven when I served up this dinner. Who am I kidding? I was in heaven because this was so good. Who doesn't love a good chili cheese dog? So, what did you think of this recipe? Well, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up as it really does help out my channel. And if you're here and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and tap that button and click that bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thanks so much for watching and remember, get out of that drive-thru and get into the kitchen. Bye!